What's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, this character. And we're going up against another Swedish Pokemon player, actually, Mad Junk. And he wanted a mixed battle with both NG and RU in both teams, and well, you're going, we're going with that. And uh, basically, he went for Wigglesuff, Excadrill, Slowking, Vileplume, Electivire, and Juxi. It's quite a bulky team with a very good offensive potential. Uh, a bit on the slow side, only Lektava really standing out as a potential hard sweeper. But besides that, a lot of bulk and, you know, Wigglesuff, hey, that's awesome. I myself is using a lot of phenomenal faces with both Malamar, a slow king, the standard Sork, Gogoat, uh, Rhyperior, which is his choice banded set, the Sotroya set really, and Caracosta, or the Jeff set, which is with the weakness policy and shell smash. So really, you know, like I said there, his team is very, very bulky. I'm gonna keep that in mind, I have to. And basically, hoping that I can prevail, I really need to destroy his walls. And since his team is almost all walls, I really need to actually preserve the Pokemon that's gonna matter this battle. And Gogoat is my go-to Pokemon against his um, Slowking, which is definitely tough to deal with. And besides that, I am predicting him to start with the Yuxi. And if he does, I'm gonna predict him to be Stealth Rocks, and then I have to switch out. I was really hoping, going in, that Malamar can potentially... Uh, freedom him a bit, so I'm gonna start with that. Like I said, real predicting the Yuxi, and uh, basically gonna go from there. So, yeah, Slowking is awesome. <laughs> so, right, anyway, let's actually get to the battle. So, yeah, like I said, there, um, he does predict with or start off with the Yuxi, you know, and um, yeah. I, since I have Sturdy on my Caracosta, I know I couldn't really risk around that, and I really felt that this was my honest chance really to um, bring that in so Jeff is gonna you know stand tall really showing his face and there's the stealth rocks and uh, yeah I have no spinner it basically is that 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 is a major issue because my sock is actually a sturdy set which I do realize actually has no way of working properly here so he's gonna go for John which was I did not expect I was really predicting U-turn if anything so um, yeah obviously I gotta be forced to be, go to sleep before going down, I'm gonna go for a knockoff. I actually score a crit here and uh, basically destroys him. I'm not sure if that crit matter, but I think it does. I really do. And it has a potential of actually surviving. I do fall asleep here though. But due to my opponent actually knowing what the Jeff set is, he is not gonna go for the Giga Rain. He's just gonna go for Sludge Bomb. And even though it's resisted, you know, I, I don't take that well. <laughs> It's definitely over half, and I will be asleep for two turns. So Jeff definitely did what he was supposed to and take out something and then went down. And like I said, due to stealth rocks, I couldn't get that set to work. It was that simple. Uh, usually I have a rapid spinner, but I totally forgot about that. Pretty much, you know, I choked, that's it. So anyway, I'm gonna bring Sura Tool here. And uh, I'm gonna go for knockoff. I was really hoping he was gonna switch out. He is not. He is staying in and went for Dazzling Gleam. And uh, yeah, it hurts, but not enough. And due to him staying in, I was really, really sure that I was gonna take him out, and uh, I do not. And he's gonna go for Moonlight, and that is really bad, it really is. But it also tells me that it's very likely that he will go for another Moonlight since, um, well, he can kinda stall me out here because Psycho does not do enough. Well, that, that is a thing, but he actually does the right move here and goes for the attacking move. And I obviously did not prepare myself for Slush Pump, which actually does more than that to him. So that's something at least. But Psychot will finish it off now due to my boost and whatnot. But my Malamar is definitely, definitely in the lower here. And he's gonna go to Totally, and that is the Electivire. And he's gonna predict me to switch out, actually. I had no reason to do so. Sertul, you know, getting one super power up. Is more than enough, and I actually packed the knockoff and gonna go for that, which is pretty darn close of taking me out. I mean, I'm not gonna lie here, that was awesome. So, anyway, Malamar's gonna come in or go down, come in. <laughs> He's definitely going down. I'm going into my soak here, and the reason I did that was because I was so sure that uh, he was gonna preserve this Pokemon due to it being somewhat of an offensive pressure of all my Pokemon, really. So, uh, due to that, I decided to go for a knockoff. Luckily for me, he does win the slow bro, but this is not enough. And um, since he had leftovers, that tells me that this is a slack offset. And um, I'm just gonna bring on, bring in my own uh, slow king. I should definitely gone for Gogo straight ahead, 
but I really, really want to see what it's all about. He's gonna stall this out. Which is, of course, what Slow Kings does, or, you know, regenerates your Pokémon overall. So don't blame him for him, hell. I'll even say that that was probably the correct play. I'm just gonna go for Skull, fishing for a burn, to be honest. Because now I know how it is, but he's gonna show me the Call Mine. And here where things are a bit on the, like, I can't really do anything here. Or rather, I should say that I can't really force him to uh, set up on me. And it could become quite dangerous if he gets to do so in the long run. So I decided to go to Go Goat here. I pretty much needed to. He's gonna go for a skull here. And it will hardly, hardly do enough. And I was so sure that it's it's a very big possibility that he could bring in his uh, Excavalgear. And if so, then I have no real response for it. So I do go for Bull Cap, hoping that that's the case. He will actually go for another skull. And yeah, completely fine by this. Completely fine. But at the same time, that is like... In the back of my head is always, you know, he's gonna go for the Go Goat. There is no way he's gonna stay in. Go Goat is gonna annihilate his Slow King. He should know this, right? No, he still stays in. This Horn Leech is, well, it's pretty darn close to take him out. And look at this my HP. Mmm, I am back on track. But my celebration are short lived, and here is the potential burn that we've all been waiting for. And to be honest here, I thought that now it is in a killing rage, or killing range, and he should definitely switch out. I was sure of it. I'm not gonna lie here. I was really sure he's gonna switch out. So I'm just gonna bring my own slow king, hoping for Excavaldier, because I do pack the flamethrower. No! He stays in! I, I couldn't believe this. Like, he is really, really staying in. He went for a slack off, and honestly, honestly, this is just the worst. Because now this Slow King is not only back on track, but my go go is of course burns and whatnot and can definitely not deal with it in the long run. He's gonna bring the Diva here, which is the beautiful and quite honestly the dangerous um, Willy Tough. And um, since this matchup is not really the preferable setup, you know, there is not go go can do here, but at the same time, my go go due to being burned means that I can't really do too much with it. So I decided to pretty much sack it off. Um, Horn Leech, I, I'll say it does, you know, it's close to nothing, but I do get recovery from it, so something was happening there, but he's gonna pack the flamethrower, and due to the damage there, I can definitely tell that this thing is specs, because I am actually fully HP and specially defensive. So that is one specs monster, and um, yeah, I I'm just gonna go down. I I'm not even gonna like take the chance of switching in my Rapiri just yet. Because that is my plan, Rhyperior. Rhyperior is my go-to Pokemon here, and I have no reason not to do it. Um, it's basically it's like this. My Rhyperior should be able to outspeed the one that are the biggest threats now. I should definitely do. I should just stop trying to work around him. I just go for damage. Destroya, please, monster among monsters, do your thing. And that is what he will do. He will actually switch into his Slow King, thinking that he could stall or break his points, because it is actually back on track. But Earthquake is just too powerful. It is too powerful to handle. And of course, I do outspeed, so the Slow King is out of the way, which is awesome. I thought, you know, at this point that the Slow King was going to be the end of me due to the Calm Mindset, but he showcased himself. And here is the Derange, which is Excavaldier. And it packs no like potential sweeping points here. He's actually going for Iron Defense, hoping he can stall me out. But no, Desotroya is not here to uh, have a stall game. He's just gonna finish it off. And there is no way that Excavaldier will potentially have any threat on me. And uh, now he's gonna go to his totally, which is his Electivire, which is down for the count. But um, he actually packs the Earthquake. But my Solid Rock is gonna help me here and um, actually do a good resisted damage on that and of course this earthquake will kill the Electivire there is no way he's gonna take that so his last Pokemon is the Wigglytuff and the bigger question is can Wigglytuff pack the energy ball and um, luckily for me he doesn't, he has the Dazzling Gleam it does do a lot of damage but the battle will end here with my Desotroya doing what it does best, shatter the grounds and will take down the diva that is the Wigglytuff. So Majang, definitely GG man, this was a very very intense battle to get go. I really thought when you burned my Go-Goat and stayed in and went for slack off, 
that you would have won. Um, I really thought there were no comeback for me, but you know, I I found a way. Eventually, I found a way, and uh, that way was Death Destroyer. So yeah, besides that, people, you know, I was really glad I did pull a win here, and also check out Sloking's eyes in this picture. I never knew it like it has actually crosses when it takes damage. That is awesome. I had no idea. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle. If so, leave a like and you know if you need a sub and all. And you know, the sky's limited, well, whatnot. Yeah, we're just gonna go through and boom, 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 away with the. I'm actually gonna be serious here for a moment. What do you guys really want to see more from my channel besides the streams and uh, well, the um, close to daily uploads of my battles? I'm definitely want to do something more, but feel that I I, I have no idea what direction to take this channel. Um, I have not a lot of spare time, so I don't do a lot of experiment, but I really, really want to bring new things to you guys, so if you have an idea or something you really want to see that I can probably try out, please tell me, and um, I'll find a way to work around that. If it is a good enough idea, I'll definitely consider it. So, yeah, you know, thank you all for watching, really, sincerely. Uh, always great to see you guys here, and definitely appreciate that, and um, yeah, I see you all guys tomorrow, so have a good day, until then. Take care, guys. Bye.